Hey guys, this tutorial is about three different things. Um, oxygen deficit, steady state and excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Now all three are in relation to how much oxygen is being used during exercise and how much the body requires. Okay, so first of all, oxygen deficit. Oxygen deficit is the amount of oxygen um, that your body requires but you're not quite getting enough so it's a case where oxygen supply actually doesn't meet the demand so your body requires a certain amount your lungs and your heart and your muscles haven't caught up yet so they aren't supplying you with enough oxygen that you need and that's why you actually have to rely on the ATP, PC and the anaerobic glycolysis systems because your body hasn't caught up. So this is a state of deficit. So you don't have enough oxygen to actually kick in and start working aerobically. If you have a look at the little graph there, um, there's just a little diagram. It says oxygen demand is how much oxygen you actually need. And then in a case of oxygen deficit, the oxygen supply is actually less. So the oxygen deficit there is represented by that yellow arrow and that's how much oxygen the body actually isn't getting. All right, steady state is basically when oxygen supply meets oxygen demand. So you're exercising, you have a certain requirement for oxygen and your body is able to supply enough. If you've got the same pictorial, again, you've got oxygen demand, but this time the red graph actually meets the green graph. So um, oxygen supply is actually meeting oxygen demand. The yellow arrow there is just representing that everything's equal. Um, there's not too much and there's not too little oxygen um, and the body can actually exercise aerobically quite comfortably. All right, EPOC or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, it's a big mouthful, but it basically means that when you've stopped exercising, your body actually um, takes in a bit more oxygen than you actually require. So the oxygen supply actually exceeds the demand. So you're getting more than you need. And it's sort of like you've borrowed from a bank of oxygen and you need to pay it back after you've finished exercising. So if you have a look at the oxygen demand and um, then you look at the oxygen supply, the red there, or the oxygen supply is actually higher than what you actually need. And the little yellow arrow there again represents you're getting more oxygen than what you actually require. Now, um, the EPOC is actually a process that's required by the body for a few different reasons. One is that during this process, um, PC or phosphocreatine replenishment is occurring. Um, there's a removal of accumulated lactate from the muscles, and it also helps clear out any accumulated carbon dioxide from the tissues. So you need just that little bit of extra oxygen, I suppose, to clean up any um, residual um, byproducts from the aerobic respiration. So this graph is a really great great way to represent. So if you look um, at the red line, three different um, that's actually showing so first up how much oxygen, oxygen you're actually consuming. Um, but the dotted line at the top is showing the actual requirement that you need. So all the shaded area in there is actually the oxy oxygen that you're supposed to be getting, but you're not because your body hasn't caught up yet with the processes. So in that stage, you're actually using your ATP, PC or anaerobic glycolysis system to create energy. Once you get to that um, plateaued level or the red line is um, just going horizontally, that's steady state. Now steady state, remember, was oxy oxygen supply meets oxygen demand. So there's not too much, there's not too little, so you're able to work aerobically um, with no lack of oxygen and no excess of oxygen. Once you finish exercising, it's represented by the black line there, um, you go into the state of epoch. So you've stopped exercising and your oxygen consumption for exercise is reduced to zero, um, but to obviously um, remove the lactate and carbon dioxide levels, to replenish PC levels, you need a little bit of extra oxygen and that's why you have EPOC. Um, the longer you exercise, the longer that EPOC um, recovery time will be. 
So just in summary, um, during exercise there's three stages, the oxygen deficit, steady state and epoch. Oxygen deficit um, is at the beginning, steady state is in the middle and epochs at the end. Thanks for watching.